Hey guys, what's up? Um, we're going to go see Code Geass, uh, the new movie, Lelouch Resurrection. Yeah, so we're going to go see it. I'm really excited. We've been waiting for this movie for years now. Uh, we're currently right now doing some sightseeing and while we're out and about. Didn't even know this place exists. It's like the Land Run uh, Memorial. It's like a whole bunch of statues. It's like a whole bunch of statues down here in downtown. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Like I said, I did not know this exists. It's right over here on Bricktown by the canal. Cool. Looks like this one is like where he's about to jump over the canal. Shit, and there's more down there. It's really awesome. You can tell they're doing more construction here. Because there's a lot of dirt and, and everything. But that's cool. I like this one. I like that it's looking like it's going to jump over the canal and catch up with them. It's really cool. <laughs> there's a jogger jogging by. I wonder how long this, this has been here. Because I literally did not know this was here. But I don't come to Oklahoma City that much. Oh god, I'm about to get trampled if I don't move. Dang. It looks like one wrecked over there. That's really cool and they're really tall. The stuff you'll find if you just walk by. Yeah, he wrecked. Oh, and there's like a little dog there trying to catch up with them. Yeah, there's a crane over there where they're working on it. <laughs> yeah, and this is, if you're ever in the Oklahoma City area, it's right over by the Devon Tower. Like, there's Devon over there in the trees. But, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Yeah, and there's the canal. Looks drained. Yeah, so they're doing a lot of the work on downtown. Yes. Look at all these movies showing. Yeah, so we made it to the theater. I just wanted to show you all this real quick. We got three of these. Since there's three of us, we got three of these Lelouch cards. We're like the first one here for it. I just walked into the movie theater and saw it's fully empty, so it's like 40 minutes before the show starts, so I think it'd be cool if we're the only ones in the movie theater for this, but I'm excited. Been waiting 10 years to see this, and there's nothing on the back. It's just blank card, has Lelouch, and says the name of the movie on it, but it's really dope. Really excited. Really happy that, that we're here to get to see this. I've been waiting... Like I said, 10 years on this. <laughs> Walk around the arcade here, there's some pretty cool games. We got an Alien arcade game here. This Terminator one looks cool, but it's <laughs> out of order. But this Bumblebee one... That's really cool. I'm not big into arcade games, but... I guess uh, those ones look really cool, and then of course you got... These claw machines, stuff, little Pac-Man, and then just some playing old racing games, more claw machines, and your ticket stuff. Look right here, Moving Castle. Oh, it's already showed the seventh through the tenth. May 20th for 21. Right there, Spirit Away. I would love to get to go see that one. I've never seen it in theaters, saw it on DVD. That would be awesome. Look at this Child's Play thing. I guess you can get your photos taken with it. It's time to play. Step inside. That's pretty awesome.
I want to say it has uh, Luke Skywalker is doing the voice for Chucky in that one. Pretty dope. Code Geass, 7 o'clock. Okay. What's the best spot for it? It's a little smaller. You think right there would be good? <laughs> what about? What about right here where you got the rail? You think right down here? Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Oh, by the way, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> hey guys. So, the movie, it was really good. I enjoyed uh, Code Geass. It was a lot of fun. I did not think there was going to be people in the movie theater because there was nobody in there until like a minute before the movie started then a whole bunch of people came in. And I say a whole bunch of people, it was probably about 10 people that came in. But still, it was quite a bit of people that came in for the movie. Um, but it was fun getting to see all the characters I grew up loving. And it was definitely worth the 10 year wait that it <laughs> that I had to wait for. And I'm looking forward to what is next in the Code Geass series. Um, because it's not a spoiler, because y'all have all probably heard it. There is going to be more to Lelouch's story. The creator even said it, that this was like phase one of the Code Geass. Uh, I, I say phase one, pardon me, phase two. There's going to be more. And I'm really excited. It does set up for the next one. So I'm really excited. I'm really ready to see what they do. Um, the movie had the same feel the TV show did, and that's what I really love. Getting to see Lelouch uh, taking over the Zero persona again, it was just so awesome. All the original characters, and most of the original voice actors are back. There are some recasts on there. I don't know what's behind that. I don't know. Maybe somebody didn't want to do it or whatever, but there was some new voices in there, but, but those new voices did do a good job. Uh, but besides that, there's just like one or two people that were recasted. Everybody else is the original cast. And so everybody did a good job in it. It was just so awesome because Kogios is one of my favorite animes of all time right next to My Hero Academia, Black Butler, and uh, Helsing, so many other great animes. Um, so it was just so fun getting to go to theater and getting to see we're getting to see the movie it was so fucking awesome it was worth it's worth uh go only sleeping like two hours to go to work at 4 a.m i work at a walmart i'm a department manager so i'm dealing with everybody's bullshit but i was like half asleep and i was like okay <laughs> but it was it was worth it it was worth dealing with all that to get to see this movie so so yeah guys i have to say kogios uh, Lelouch of Resurrection is a very good movie. It is the best anime movie I've seen since My Hero Academia, uh, Two Heroes. And I love getting to see these anime movies in theaters. Um, my next one's probably going to be in January, I think, is when My Hero Academia 2 comes out. So that'll be the next one I see. Um, so I would have to give this movie a 9 out of 10. It was very good. Very good. I loved it. I can't wait for it to come out on DVD. It's Funimation, so it'll probably be out somewhere in about a year. Who knows? Maybe it'll come out as quick as Brawly did. <clears throat> and one thing I forgot to mention, the action was good. It just had that good feel that the TV show did. So 9 out of 10 is what I give it. Before I go, I wanted to show you what one of my friends got me. Since I'm going on that trip to Orlando here in about a week. He got me this for my Switch in. Zelda. I got my Switch in there right now. Has that on the back. Really cool. Really cool. So happy he did that for me. 
so happy. I don't think I ever showed you all this. It's a, it's a really cool hat. I found it up in the city. I cannot remember how much it was, but it's a, it's a pretty dope hat. Got Sora, Goofy, and Donald, all them on it. Really fucking awesome. So guys, subscribe to my channel for more gaming, uh, music news, television news, um, gameplays, a whole bunch of different shit. And we're going to be vlogging here, uh, vlogging my trip to Orlando, which I'm going to be going on June 5th. So keep an eye out for that. It should be out sometime after uh, June 15th. Um, so I'll see y'all later, guys. Be safe out there and see ya.